not to worry so because the the children were were truly blessed and so as it turns out after we were in Ephesus in uh, Athens my father got stationed to the Pentagon in Washington and Father Deutsch was sent to Catholic University here and at the time Father Deutsch hadn't known that much about Ephesus about St. John taking the Blessed Mother to Ephesus so he, he did a lot of research and wrote the book Our Lady of Ephesus and in the last chapter of that book uh, was my mother's story. And she remained anonymous for, for all the years. In fact, I was 10 years old at the time, and I, I didn't even know about it until I was 23 or 24. So it was, she just seemed to know who to tell and who not to tell, uh, or to bring it up. But um, after the book was written, uh, Father had met the uh, members of the American Society of Ephesus in, from Lima, Ohio. Uh, George Quatman had set up a fund and they were restoring St. John's Basilica in, in Ephesus. The Double Church of Mary, which is the ch first church ever uh, dedicated to Our Lady of uh, the Blessed Mother in the world, actually. And uh, so Father wrote the book about it. And the Ephesus Society had read the last chapter in Father's book and had uh, read the description that my mother had given uh, in that, that uh, last chapter. And they uh, called Father Deutsch and asked him if he would ask whoever wrote the last chapter if they would have a holy card made, if they could get a, an artist to do a, a painting from the vision because in her description she describes the Blessed Mother so clearly and they felt that the Blessed Mother must have wanted something for her to to remember everything so clearly and it was it was in the book that way so father called my mother and said we were actually uh, retired at that time and living in Vermont where my where we were originally from and um, uh, father asked my mother if she would be willing to work with an artist and have a painting done. And my mother at the time said, gee, I don't think that would work. Uh, this, I don't think I could ever truly describe how beautiful the Blessed Mother was, but it was a nice thought. <laughs> and father said, well, you know, you've been anonymous all these years. I've had to speak for you for the last 14, 15 years, whatever. He said, uh, why don't you uh, get a hold of the Ephesus Society yourself and tell them that you'd rather not do that. And when my mother did get a hold of them, she spoke to Joe Quatman, who is the, uh, was the president of the American Society of Ephesus, and uh, explained to him that it, it wasn't possible. And so he said if it ever, if it ever happened that it would, it, the circumstances came or they met an artist that, that would work with it, uh, they would love to have it done. And through a long story and series of coincidences, uh, they did find an artist um, by chance. And uh, it took two and a half to three years, and they, they did do the painting of Our Lady of Ephesus. And it uh, is, has been hanging here at the Basilica uh, for quite a few years now, I think maybe, not sure the exact date, I would say 1884, 85. It's been uh, here at the Basilica. And when I was younger, when we lived in Washington, I was always asking my mother, because I knew she had a devotion. I didn't know the whole story, but I knew she had a great devotion to Our Lady of Ephesus. And when she'd bring all of our family to the, when my father would bring us to the Basilica, um, I kept saying, well, why don't they have Our Lady of Ephesus here? There's Our Lady of Guadalupe, there's Our Lady of Lourdes, there's Our Lady of everyone, but no Our Lady of Ephesus. And my mother said, now there's a good project for you, Mary. You don't know how to take no for an answer. Maybe someday we'll have, a, we'll have something here to Our Lady of Ephesus if you, if you work hard. <laughs> 